Okay, now what we're going to discuss here is the non-dominant hand, the left hand's role in the two-handed backhand. And most people will say to you, well, it's a left-handed forehand and think that's enough. But the fact is, not many people really understand the, the, the right-handed forehand. So to just say it's a left-handed forehand isn't quite enough. So for starters, you want to use that left hand to push the head of the racket forward. See here how Warren starts his coil and it's really his body that gets set. Look at that head. Look at the head of the racket. See that left hand is actually pushing the head forward, holding Warren in a coil. And then he pulls his hips around. So it's really the left hand's job to set the coil and to try to hold that coil. And then it's just a matter of rotating the hips in the figure eight back towards the net. And the arms sort of act like a, an octopus's arms where the body moves and the arm, arms just sort of follow. Look here. See how that racket head is really tilted in? It's tucked in and you hold your coil. Look, look at the racket head here. It's still coiled in. You can still see the coil. And as he drags his hips forward, that's when the racket finally unfolds into the shot. Look again. See how strong that left hand is here? Tilting the head forward, elbows bent. See that? Most people think you lay the head back, and as he pulls his hips forward, he tries to hold the coil, but it naturally unfolds perfectly right at the 45 degree angle. So when you're given a lesson on the two-handed backhand, make sure your student understands the, the role of the left hand here. Right, you can't just throw out, hit a left-handed forehand. Look at that coil. He holds it, and only when he switches his hips towards the net does the arm actually unfold and sort of uncoil and go convex into the, bo into the ball. So as, he, as Steven or Warren goes into this backhand, you can see they get concave, and the racket head really just goes up. See that? The racket head comes up, and the head is tilted forward. And as the hips pull through, that's when the racket naturally just goes convex into the hit.